In this video, I want to take you through a quick and comprehensive walkthrough of one of my favorite Google AI tools, Notebook LM, which recently had, by the way, some fantastic updates. For folks who haven't experienced it yet, Notebook LM is a Google AI tool that lets you create a custom AI assistant that is 100% grounded in your data. And when I say data, it is also 100% multimodal in nature. That means you can have PDFs, video, audio, code, text, images, all the documents and all the stuff that you have, you can put it in and it's going to be ready to be your assistant. You know what? Let's just directly get into the tool. When you type notebooklm.google.com, this is where you land. So the idea of Notebook LM is, is really the concept of notebooks, right? Just like the way we had it in school. So each notebook will have its own set of documents and it will be limited to those set of documents. Only think of how you had different notebooks dedicated to different subjects in school. That's sort of the idea, right? So with that, keeping that in mind, let's create the first notebook. So the idea here is you could go ahead and upload different types of document. You can see PDF, text documents, audio, MP3, and then obviously you can go ahead and collect, connect it to your Google Docs and Google Slides as well. Um, and this is where it becomes very interesting because you can directly add like websites and also YouTube, right? So let's say that I am interested in, in learning a little bit more about RAG. So I have, which is retrieval augmented generation. So I have a lot of documents around uh, RAG and I'm just going to put all of that in. So I'm just going to upload these set of documents and it's already starting to generate some of the summary here. But then what I also want to do is I also want to add my YouTube video. So here's where I created this particular YouTube video. Let me ask you all around rack. So I'm going to take the link, go back here and go ahead and add that YouTube video as well. It's interesting because it, it is going to take all the transcripts. It's going to transcribe it for you and take all of that text as part of that process. Now, you know, it is building on that. One cool thing that was recently added was where you can now actually click on discover. And this is where you can also go in and search for publicly available documents and you can go ahead and add those as well, right? So now it's going to look for RAG and retrieval augmented generation related sources from all over the internet. And it gives you an idea of, okay, these are all the sources. So I'm going to select like the ones which I feel are going to be valuable. So I'm just going to select few and I'm just going to import. You had your own set of documents, but because you have studying, it, it really allows you to add some additional set of documents as well. If you focus on the right hand side a little bit now, you are able to create a study guide. You are able to create a briefing doc. You are able to create an FAQ doc and you're also able to create a timeline. You are also able to create a mind map. Right. So these are all different assets that you could go ahead and create just by the click of a button. And while it is doing that, you can start actually having a chat conversation with Notebook LM based on all of these documents that you just have. Right? How do agentic rack frameworks enhance personalized recommendation? I know that this is actually coming from a Walmart paper that I've uploaded, which is like a new paper. And you can see that it's talking about it. A little bit of it is also coming from my video, which is like, what is rag? And it is answering that right now. What you can also see is it has created all of these interesting assets. So let's go ahead and look at each one of these assets one by one. So number one, which I believe is the coolest functionality of Notebook LM is automatic creation of mind maps, right? So this is a broader topic. Now let's look at if you have to look at an introduction to RAG, you can look into the definition and all of these things. And then if you really want to, let's say, focus on RAG, which is fine tuning, which is prompt engineering, then you can directly go into that, right? This makes it super easy for you to really understand what are the different concepts which are there. So for example, I want to understand about embeddings, right? So what is the concept of embedding? So instead of going ahead and reading the entire thing, if I want to be focused on embeddings, I can just do that. And then if I click on this, it actually directly asks a question to the overall documentation and it says, okay, discuss what these sources say about concept of embedding in the lot larger kind of context of embedding. So that is, that is pretty cool because now everything is connected directly to the brains, uh, to the mind map. And this makes learning super, super easy, right? That's one interesting thing that I wanted to share. Now, some other things that you need to look at, right? This is where it has created a briefing document. So you can see that the amount of docs in, and also like video that I have uploaded. So th this does a really good job in, in creating fantastic summary. You can see it, it has done that. And what is also cool is you can then convert this into a source itself, right? So then it goes and sits there. So that's pretty cool. Then let's look at, it also created an FAQ section. So let's say that you 
you want to look at what are the most common questions that are being asked about this particular topic you're able to see this as well um, so that's pretty neat it has also created a quiz which is pretty interesting right if you're preparing for an interview as an example and if you're studying for a particular topic then this could be pretty handy right so you are able to create a quiz 10 questions or whatever um, and then you can also convert this as a source right so this you, you are able to get this just out of the box and then the last piece is the timeline which i think we had created it's up somewhere here so this is the timeline where you can see it, it talks about the detailed timeline now this is all coming from the set of documents depending on how far back the documents go it is able to combine everything and come back to you with a set of timelines now another brand new feature that has been added is the capability for you to go ahead and share so once you have created this entire document with all of these interesting things what you can do is now go ahead and actually share this so you can write a welcome note and then you can restrict access to certain people or you can give full access or you can also give only access to chat and you can add people just like the way you will do in a google doc so it's a pretty cool feature which is like a brand new feature which was just added now lastly the star of the show is your audio overview have you ever noticed the incredible advancements in large language models their ability to summarize. So you can see that it was able to create 29 minutes of summary of this entire set of documents. What is also cool here is there is an Have option to the incredible advancements actually in join I mean, the conversation. To summarize, so let's translate, do that. Generate text. Oh, our listeners got something to share. Let's hear it. What is RAG? Oh, that's a fantastic question and perfectly timed. We were just about to dive into exactly that. Yeah, you beat us to it. RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation, is what we're here to unpack today. At its core, RAG is a way to make large language models like GPT-4 much more... All right. Th this is fantastic. It has also got the analytics feature. For that, I need to at least share with four people. Google kind of bringing in all of the ecosystem here. Think about Google Analytics and stuff like that. And then some of the other elements about chat, right? We didn't touch on chat. So you can actually define your own style you can actually have a custom style as well so let's say that act as a soccer player okay and then based on that if i'm going to ask a question let's see how it responds so what are the benefits so you can see it's behaving like a soccer player so it's like having a top class midfielder who not only knows the game inside and out but it's pretty amazing so it suddenly took that persona and able to explain it to someone who who is probably more familiar to that kind of lingo and will benefit a lot from it so that is it i hope this was helpful if you like the video please subscribe and if you have any questions please do comment and i'll do my best to answer thank you once again for watching